Welcome to Australia, a land known for its scorching heat, unique wildlife, and cultural icons like Mick Crocodile Dundee. But today, we're diving into a truly bizarre chapter of Australian history, the Great Emu War of the 1930s. Are you ready to learn about one of the strangest conflicts in human history? Let's go! In the aftermath of World War I, the Australian government launched a soldier-settler scheme, granting land to returning veterans. Unfortunately, many of these lands were in arid regions, ill-suited for farming. By the early 1930s, farmers faced a trifecta of challenges, drought, falling wheat prices, and a rabbit infestation. Then, the situation took a turn for the worse, when about 20,000 emus migrated inland drawn by the promise of food and water in the wheat-growing areas. Initially protected as a native species, these birds were soon reclassified as vermin, due to the havoc they wreaked on crops. As farmers in the Campion district cried out for help, the Western Australian government decided it was time to take action. Enter the military, led by Major Gwynedd Perv's win Aubrey Meredith armed with two Lewis machine guns and 10,000 rounds of ammunition. On the 2nd of November 1932, the troops moved into action, but heavy rains had scattered the emus, making them elusive targets. When the soldiers finally encountered their first flock, the emus quickly scattered, showcasing their remarkable agility. Despite a few early successes, the soldiers soon realized they were up against a formidable opponent. On the 4th of November, Major Meredith set an ambush, waiting for over 1,000 emus to come within range. But just as they opened fire, the machine gun jammed after only a dozen kills, allowing the rest to escape. The emus continued to outsmart the soldiers, leading to a series of frustrating skirmishes. As the war dragged on, it became clear that the emus were not only resilient, but also adept at evading capture. For every 10 rounds fired, only one emu was killed, leading to a comical yet frustrating situation for the military. Major Meredith himself noted their agility, comparing their movements to guerrilla tactics. By the 10th of December, when the operation officially concluded, the military reported 986 emus killed, a figure that raised eyebrows given the circumstances. The aftermath of the Great Emu War saw the birds continue to thrive, while farmers were left to fend for themselves. Subsequent requests for military assistance were denied leading to the implementation of a bounty system that proved far more effective. In just six months in 1934, Western Australians claimed 57,030 for bounties for emus killed. The emu war has since become a source of amusement and a cautionary tale about wildlife management. The Great Emu War serves as a reminder of the unpredictable relationship between humans and wildlife. While the military aimed to protect agricultural interests, they ultimately found themselves outsmarted by the very creatures they sought to eliminate. The emus continue to roam the Australian landscape, a testament to their resilience against all odds. Thanks for joining us on this wild journey through history. 